little baby chicks, they sound like they're chirping and they sound okay, I don't know. Uh, we'll open them up when I get home, but looks like they're all alive. So we'll, we'll see what they look like when we get home. So the boxing looks really nice. Um, looks like it was pretty secure in the shipment. Um, it feels warm underneath, so I know they put a hot pack in there. They got some holes, and you can see some little baby butts. I'm excited to see what they look like. They're trying to creep through these little holes. Alright, we'll be home in a few minutes. All right, so we are home and we have our chickens, so we're gonna go ahead and open them. Um, what I did do is mix up their electrolyte water. Um, here is the vitamin packet if you are interested. It's got sodium, um, potassium, a bunch of vitamins, um, and it provides one gallon. So we'll give that to them over the course of the week. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour um, their starter crumbles in their brooder. But let's take a look and see what we got here. Um, so like I said, the shipping seemed to be relatively easy. Um, looks like they had gotten here pretty safe. Um, they thought I was crazy when I was at the post office and so then I wanted to pick up some chickens. I just want to what I want to have. Okay. Um, so we'll see what we got in here. Oh, what are you doing? They're all scared. They're all scared. Yeah. And they're all alive. There's more. Look at them. We got two, four, six, eight. And it looks like it came with some vitamins and electrolytes as well. Um, just going to the first five days. So we will, hold on never. What they do is take, take a look at how to put this together. Um, and then can I see that now? What is that? They have, it's a ticket. And then this is some more grow gel, which is also nutrition. Ah, pet ham. You want a pet ham? Which one you want? I like the, this um, one. Okay, this one looks a little lethargic. Um, so we'll go ahead and try and get that one out. And or it's not doing too well. Um, Alright, let me get this one going because he looks not good. Look at this one. He's like... All right, let's get him started here. I want to get him under the brooder. Yeah. All right, so our lethargic chick here is doing very well. We decided to go to the store and end up getting a heating lamp versus the heating plate. The heating plate was only getting up to 80 degrees. So we went ahead and ran to the store, got the heating lamp, and now the temperature is up to 100 degrees and our little lethargic chick is doing great. She is eating and drinking, and everyone is thriving, so we are very happy with that. So let's get into the review of Meyer Farms, or Meyer Hatchery. Overall, their ordering process was really easy. You can go right to the website and pick out the chicks that you want. They have everything separated um, according to if they're egg layer or if they will, are um, better for meat. So what we did is we did a little bit of research as to what we wanted and went ahead and got egg producers only. Um, they are okay for me as well, but our main objective here is for eggs. So we picked out what best suited us. We went ahead and added them to the cart. There were pictures and there was a breakdown as to their uh, behavior, how big the eggs are, uh, how much they will weigh and things like that. So we picked three different, actually it was three different kinds. We picked the Buff Orpington, we picked the Plymouth Rock. Last minute I decided on a Saturday right before they were gonna ship out on Monday that I wanted a Lavender Orpington because they were beautiful. 
And then we also decided um, when I did call to add on that other chick that they were gonna give us an extra chick. And we are not sure exactly what that chick is yet. We have to wait till she gets a little bit older and then we can definitely update you as to what this mystery chick is. So let's talk about how awesome they were with me adding on another chick. So I emailed late on a Saturday night, probably around 10 o'clock at night, and they emailed me Sunday morning, hey, I'm gonna give you a call, and I don't have your card information on file, but I'm gonna give you a call and you can just give me your card information, we'll add on that other check. So Sunday they called me twice, and they were really awesome, and were willing to answer any questions that I had. So we added on the lavender chick, and the lavender Orpington, and we, um, decided that we are gonna go ahead and get a free chick that was added in. And so that was really awesome. So let's talk about the shipping process. So the sh the shipping was awesome. They were shipped out on Monday. Today is Wednesday. They were shipped out Monday at one and they got here this morning around 6 a.m. As you saw, the shipping packaging was really great. There was a nest inside along with a heating pack. So they were kept warm, however, as we saw, there was one that was lethargic and just cold. Post office was really easy to work with. They called me twice this morning saying, hey, just so you know, your chicks are here. Unfortunately, I was sleeping um, through the first phone call, but we ran and got the chicks, and it looks like everyone is doing great. So overall, Meyer Hatchery did a really great job. We did read reviews, and we compared different hatcheries, and this was the one that fit our needs best. We did see that there were some reviews that chicks were arriving already passed away, but that was not the case for us. All of our chicks came uh, happy and healthy. And so overall, I would definitely recommend that you guys use Meyer Hatchery. It was $50 for shipping. Overall, for eight chicks, I think it was $106. Um, that is the shipping, that is the vaccinations, and that is the chicks. So overall, if you guys have any questions about the shipping process, about my country, you guys can leave a comment and we'll get back to you. But all of our chicks are doing well.